Yo, 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 guys, we're back again today, and today we're going to be talking about another significant black man and a man of African descent that was the first one in the NHL in America, and it was also a Afro-Canadian. So let's just get right into it right now. You know how we do. Let's get right into it. So today we're going to be talking about Willie O'Ree. Now, Willie O'Ree was born on October 15th in 1935 in Fredericton, New Brunswick. O'Ree graduated from New Brunswick Amateur Hockey Association. He was known for his checking abilities as well as his speed. This made O'Ree a threat every time he went onto the ice. After a stint in the Amateur Hockey Association, he joined the York County Hockey League Fredericton Merchants team. He also played there for a short period of time, a total of six games. O'Ree would soon after move up to the Junior Hockey League in which the first team he joined in the league was the Fredericton Junior Capitals. O'Ree spent two seasons with the Junior Capitals from 1951 to 1952. In 1953 to 1954, O'Ree would move up to the Senior Hockey League and play for the Capitals. During his stay at the Capitals, O'Ree led his team to the 1954 Allen Cup Tournament before joining the Quebec Junior Hockey League. O'Ree played for the Quebec Frontenacs between 1954 and 1955. He led them to the 1955 Memorial Cup Tournament as well. After only one season in Quebec, O'Ree joined the Ontario Hockey Association Junior A Hockey League. He played for the Kitchener Canucks from 1955 to 1956. Now with this team, O'Ree set a career high in goals with 30 goals. In 1956 to 1957, he joined the Aces and battled for the Edinburgh Trophy. This was a challenge series between the Quebec Hockey League and the Western Hockey League. Between 1957 and 1958, O'Ree played most of his season with the Aces while playing some games with the American Hockey League. Soon after, O'Ree made his NHL debut with the Boston Bruins later in the season. This was very, very historical, and in his first NHL game, he became the first black person to play in the NHL. The Boston Bruins in America had called O'Ree to replace an injured player, though they did not know that he had lost 95% of his vision in his right eye to a puck before playing with the Bruins. O'Ree only mentioned his vision impairment to another black player, which was his good friend, Stan Maxwell, and his sister. He was determined to not let that stop him, and he also continued due to lack of in-depth physicals at the time in the league. He wanted to play so bad that he compensated for his injury, and O'Ree was left-handed, a left-handed shot, and played left wing to compensate for his right eye injury. Now, to compensate for his blindness in his right eye, he had to turn his head all the way around to the right to look over his shoulder to pick up the puck. He initially had trouble with this technique, so he told himself to forget about this and see what he could see and focus on what he could see, and then his game started to pick up after he did this. He soon after returned to the Aces from 1958 to 1959. Less than a year later, he returned to the Bruins in the NHL and played 43 games. He made his first goal in the NHL against the Montreal Canadiens. Now, O'Ree spent majority of his season with Boston, but he was also spent some time with the Ottawa Canadiens before the Boston Bruins traded him to the Montreal Canadiens during the offseason. With this trade came no playtime in Montreal, and O'Ree was traded to the Western Hockey League's Los Angeles Blades. O'Ree played six seasons with Los Angeles and established a career high in goals of 38. He also played for the Los Angeles Sharks as well, and in 1967, he was traded once again to the San Diego Goals. Now, O'Ree spent seven years in San Diego with a career high of 79 points. O'Ree also earned second team All-Star honors, and while in San Diego, O'Ree played with the Haven Nighthawks and eventually joined the San Diego Charms. He would spend two seasons with them until he retired for two years in 1976. In 1978, he returned to hockey as a member of the Pacific Hockey League San Diego Hawks. Now, this would be the last season before he ended his career. O'Ree is known as the Jackie Robinson of hockey, and he's paid the price with many nights of racial slurs, fights, threats, and the sight of his right eye. 
In 1998, O'Ree became the director of youth department for the NHL USA Hockey Diversity Task Force, a nonprofit program for minority youth. The program encourages youngsters to learn and play hockey. He also was honored by the Los Angeles Kings, though he is not yet or has not yet been honored by the Toronto Hockey Hall of Fame. Ori is now 81 years old, which makes him a living legend. So guys, today we talked about another person of African descent that did amazing things. Some A man that came from Canada that played hockey in different teams that came throughout the ranks from junior to senior to the NHL. And he came to America and played for the Boston Bruins. Then he was traded and went back to Canada from team to team, then to the back to America, to the West Coast, and played for many teams in the West Coast. And this man is a living legend in the hockey world and is a living legend and should be treated as such. So as always, guys, like me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, all Africa Network. And until next time, each one teach one, always stick together, always try to say something nice and to uplift your brothers and sisters, your kings and queens. And yo, guys, until next time, I'm out. Peace. One love. What's up, what's up? Hey! Shalom. What up? Hi. Every day! <laughs> 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 <laughs>